turn right to go left. Guess what? I tried it. And you know what? This crazy thing happened. I went right. You keep talking to yourself. People think you're crazy. Thanks for the tip. Uh, what? I wasn't talking to you. Welcome to the very first episode of Color Shifter Custom Sets. In this video, I'll be reviewing a custom Lizzie's Curio Shop I made entirely from scratch. Obviously, from the movie Colors, this was made to go with the 155 scale diecast as the playsets they made were absolute garbage. That must be really embarrassing, but I wouldn't worry about it because I didn't do it. <laughs> I do plan to build Radiator Springs in full scale from scratch, and this is just the beginning. Without any further ado, you all know what this is. Let's get into it. It sits on wooden bases from Hobby Lobby. The building itself is wood. Everything you see is hot glued together. That's entirely how I piece things together. The bricks you see I hot glued on, and the floors, which are popsicle sticks, were also hot glued there. I used various brown and red acrylic paints to paint it, and the lines between the bricks were done with silver marker. Porch was made of cardboard, and so were many of the accessories you see in this picture. Very tedious work. They're quite a bit of a mixture of cardboard and toothpicks or whatever wood I could find. Now, I used oven bay clay to make the gas pumps, hubcaps, and a lot of the accessories you see on the inside. There were quite a few details I had to design, print, and then attach with glue. Then, once you have all the pieces, it's just a lot of gluing things together, which is really the fun part, actually. If you're wondering, the saying is actually for parrot cages I got at Walmart, and I just put some fake moss on top for the tumbleweeds. It took two months of constant work, but you are able to achieve great results if you just work at it. Now, there are a few things I want to go over before ending the video here. One of them is, you may have noticed this abandoned building behind Lizzie's. This is actually in all three movies. It's really just a copy and paste of one of the abandoned buildings from by the courthouse, but some speculate it could be Lizzie and Stanley's house. I don't know, and it has, unfortunately, printed bricks because I ran out of the actual texture, but it still looks good. I used a wooden stick for the post on the street. There's two of them with fishing string in between. I used hot glue dabs for the little lights around the side, but what would you rather? A light up set that is inaccurate or a non-light up set that's actually accurate. I personally like that one. There is no ramp, sadly, from the video game where McQueen would jump on and do racing around my photo ops or jump to Luigi's. This is the movie canon. There's a little mile per hour 25 sign, really basically just a wooden stick and a printed logo. Now, inside has to be my absolute favorite part. A lot of the props here are made with oven baked clay set at 250 or, um, you know, just anything like toothpicks or cardboard. It looks complex, but it's actually just a lot of basic appliances. Now, let's do a little group shot here. You have all the characters. Unfortunately, uh, Mac has probably forgotten. Hey, you know why you always gotta forget about me? And here is that famous poster we all know. And here's the international version of it without Sarge. And here's what the Stanley statue would look like by Lizzie's as it originally was in the concept art. Now, let's do some remaking, because what's a set without remaking? So here we have Mater rescuing his hood. Um, there's his cousin Luke trying to hose it on the tree after old Bubba puts it there. Um, we have that awful, awful level in the video game, Lizzie's postcard hunt, which was quite challenging and, and really gave me a world of pain. Um, we have Otto von the Fassen about them from Colors Made International when he gets all those stickers on him. I just had to use Manji and kind of Photoshop him to look like Otto here. Very, very nice. Um, now, this area, it's it's so big when it's actually full scaled. I, I kind of think of it as a kid. I used to think it could be used as an impound. So there's the delinquent road hazards just kind of chilling out there. And also, I kind of th think of it right now as an RV camp out, you know, for the RVs just to hang out, have a good old time. I also am reminded of that old video, that's very famous video, Overheated, where that rusty car is just complaining in the desert. With that being said, thank you for watching. Please let me know if you want more custom videos rather than remakes, because I will do them. And of course, Stay tuned for the rest of the town. I will see you and potentially a live stream if you want me to do one showcasing Lizzie. I will very gladly do that and figure out YouTube live streaming. Let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Good evening, you two.